Warren Buffett said, the chains of habit are too light to be felt until they are too heavy to be broken. Your bad habits will keep you down in life. So in today's video, I'm going to give you five different techniques to overcome any negative habit that you have. It doesn't matter what it is. They all work the same way. It could be smoking. It could be eating junk food. It could be gambling. It could be playing video games all day. We're going to break them right now. So let's get this started. Okay, the very first thing you need to do when you're overcoming a negative habit is to know your triggers. So what's a trigger? A trigger is the thing that initiates the habit. For the smoker, it could be seeing the packet of Winnie Blues. For the person who loves junk food, it could be when they walk into the store and there's a chocolate mug cake right there in front of them. For the gaming addict, it could be when they see a new trailer for a new game that they have to buy right now. You need to identify your trigger. What's that thing that you see and it initiates the chain in your mind to begin the habit? What is it? Identify it and become more aware of it. Become more cognizant of it. We want to be able to study these triggers so that we don't fall for them next time. Okay, the way you study the trigger is when you're actually doing the habit. Think back and figure out what started it. What initiated it? Was it an image? Was it a sound? Was it a smell? Was it a sensation? Was it an emotion that you felt? What initiated it? Even if you fall for the habit, even if you are doing it again, as long as you have the mindfulness, the awareness to know what made you do it, you are on the path of progression, my friend. So figure out your trigger, identify it, and always remember them. Remove your triggers. Surprise, surprise. Okay, let's see. Let, let's just say that you are trying to not eat ice cream, right? You've, you've gained weight. Your stomach is getting bigger and you've decided that you're not going to eat ice cream. Now tell me, what would be easier? Would it be easy to resist the temptation of going to your fridge and putting in a few scoops of ice cream? If the ice cream is in the house, or would it be easy to resist the temptation of eating that delicious succulent ice cream if it's not even in the house obviously if the ice cream is not in the house it's going to be easier for you to resist it so remove your goddamn triggers if you're a smoker don't buy cigarettes and try avoid them just don't buy them to begin with don't have them in your presence don't have these things that are going to force you to continue the habit remove the trigger if you are always eating mcdonald's and there's a certain route you go back from work and you know there's a mcdonald's there take a different route it's simple guys, remove the triggers. That's perhaps one of the easiest things you can do to stop the habit. If you know that you're going to fall for it, don't even let the possibility be there. Okay, step three, you need the identity level shift. You need to see yourself as someone who doesn't even initiate in that habit to begin with. For me, it's easy to not smoke because I don't smoke. I identify myself as someone who doesn't smoke. For a smoker, they sometimes see themselves as a smoker who is quitting. The fat person sees himself as a fat person who's on a diet. The gambler sees himself as a gambler who's taking a break. You need to completely disregard your old associations with that character that you have imprinted into your ego. Because what you have to understand is failure isn't due to willpower, right? Failure comes from a discontinuity or a lack of congruence between your subconscious self image of yourself and who you're trying to be. So if you still recognize yourself as a particular type of person and you haven't removed that label, you haven't removed that image, your subconscious mind is going to force you to always gravitate back to that person. So it's incredibly important that you destroy that image and use all your willpower, use all your efforts to form a new image of yourself as that person who doesn't even do it. So the fat person is no longer a fat person on a diet, they are a fit person who eats healthy. The gambler is someone who doesn't gamble, the smoker doesn't smoke. You need to make these changes. Okay, step four, you need to make yourself accountable. And a good way to do this is to actually make your goal public. So to tell people that, hey, look, I'm no longer smoking. Or look, I'm no longer gambling. Or look, I'm on a diet and I'm going to lose this particular amount of weight. When you make yourself accountable in this way, you kind of create a secondary force that pushes you because you don't want to be embarrassed. You don't want to be known as the person who can't hold their word. So for some people, for a lot of people, you need this motivation. You need your friend to post those embarrassing pictures of you naked up online if you don't fulfill your goal. You need that secondary source of motivation, that fire underneath your ass to fulfill the goal. 
So make yourself accountable, set up systems that are going to make you accountable, and you will see yourself quickly change. Okay, so the very last step in destroying a negative habit, and getting rid of it for good, is replacing it with something that's better. You need something to fill up that void and to distract your mind in the meantime. It's not uncommon to see people that used to love eating McFlurries and double quarter pounders take up exercise and healthy nutrition. Here's a little caveat. This transitionary period of forming this new habit, this habit's actually gonna enhance you and not bring you down. In the initial stages, it might not be as satisfying as the old habit. So the double quarter pounders will always, well, in the beginning, be more delicious than the kale shakes or the squats at the gym. But eventually what you'll find is, if you stick with the new habit that's better for you, you'll start gaining as much satisfaction or even more satisfaction from the new habit than the old one. So people that used to be fat, people that used to eat unhealthy, once they take up this new lifestyle of eating healthy and going to gym, they find that to be more satisfying than the previous lifestyle. The gambler who used to waste all his money gambling uh, finds happiness in entrepreneurship. The smoker who used to smoke cigarettes finds happiness in chewing gum or whatever. So you need to find something that's going to replace the habit and you are well on your way. Okay, guys, so those are my five tips for breaking a bad habit. So number one was know your trigger and study it. Number two was remove your goddamn trigger. Get rid of it. Get out of your sight. Number three was your identity level shift. Change yourself at a subconscious level. Number four was hold yourself accountable. Set up systems to make sure that you are accountable and that you stay on the path. And number five was replace the negative habit with a positive one. If you guys like that video, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.